What is up guys, Julian Mikkel here of Social Vignerons. Welcome back to another wine video. This is episode 15 of the Tasting with Julian series. Today we're going to the great wine country of Italy and the great wine region of Piedmont. That's in the north of the country and that's one of the regions producing some of the most famous, the best wines in Italy. Piedmont produces the Barolos, the Barbarescos, the Asti, the Moscato d'Asti, the Lange wines, so some of the best wines in Italy. But we're not going to Piedmont for those today, we're going for a slightly lesser known one of the rare fine white wine appellations in Italy, we're going to discover the wines of Gavi. We're going to taste Gavi wines by a historic producer of the area that is actually based around the town of Gavi, the wines of Marchese Raggio. So Italy as a wine country is not particularly known or renowned for its fine white wines. Everyone would know Prosecco, Moscato, Pinot Grigio and many great red wines spread all around the country from Tuscany, everyone knows Chianti, but you've got the Barolos, the Barbaresco, the Primitivos, all these red wines that we're starting to get accustomed and, and familiar with. But the white wines of Italy, the fine white wine appellations of Italy are quite rare. There's only a handful that people sort of start to recognize. One of them, not the, the least, um, <clears throat> is the Gavi DOCG. So DOCG appellation is the highest ranking in Italian appellation uh, system. Gavi wines are made in 13 different towns in the north of Italy, close to the border with Liguria. They are made in a cool climate, in a very dry, crisp and fruity style. Only the wines that are made around the center of the appellation, the Gavi town itself, are allowed to bear the name Gavi di Gavi or Gavi del Comune di Gavi and that's this, the kind of wine that Marchese Raggio makes. Marchese Raggio is a historic producer. They've been in business, in the wine business for over 400 years. They own this majestic, beautiful property with a fantastic house in the center. They make, like everyone in Gavi, their white wine from 100% Cortese grapes, um, made in a very dry, bone dry, uh, style from selecting, rigorously selecting grapes and fermenting the wines all in stainless steel tanks. The idea with a simple, quite minimal fermentation and aging in stainless steel tank is to simply extract and express the expression, the pure expression of the fruit of the grapes uh, themselves and of the climate. It's a relatively cool climate. You've got some cold breezes coming from the Alps, uh, some cooling, warming breezes as well coming from the Mediterranean uh, and a mineral rich soil. So the idea is to express with quite simply with the wines, those fruit and this terroir. There are only a handful of renowned fine white wine appellations in Italy. Some names like Ovieto, Pecorino, Suave, Grillo, a few names come to your mind when you think Italian white wine. But Gavi is certainly one of the most renowned and one of the most famous, but still in need for recognition and not that many people, only connoisseurs really know Gavi. So that's why today I want you to discover this beautiful Gavi wine. So let's dig into Marchese di, del Comune de Gavi. So again, this white wine is made from 100% Cortese uh, white grapes. You know, each appellation, each region in Italy 
it pretty much has its own great variety. Uh, here we're talking Cortese, 100%. The wine has got a beautiful, shiny, slightly golden color, typical of a crisp, dry, uh, fresh white wine. The nose is super floral at first. Very floral, delicate notes of white flowers, lily, maybe elderflower. Very delicate. Uh, if you dig a bit further by agitating the glass and sniffing, uh, sniffing harder, you're gonna get some lemon and citrus, touches of orange peel, mandarin, uh, kumquat sort of flavor. A touch of white pepper, it's quite lifted as well and a little bit minty. So very pleasant, elegant, soft, uh, refined, not a pungent expression, but just a cloud of floral, citrusy aromas uh, in, the, in the nose on the aromatic profile. The wine is certainly dry, 100% dry, maybe a delicate touches of sweetness on the side of the tongue, but definitely a dry, crisp, acidic, linear, mineral uh, wine style. The acidity is zingy, is crisp, is sharp on the palate. Yet, because this wine is aged in stainless steel tank and it's aged for four or five months on this lease, it's got this oily body coating uh, your palate and the whole feels super balanced, uh, dry and refreshing. That's for the taste uh, part, of, part of it. The flavors are those of, again, citrus. There's a lot of lemon, touches of bitterness that you find from the citrus as well. So that makes you salivate and crave for food. It's got some stone fruit, apricot, peach, the, the white flowers again. Quite a lot of spices, touches of uh, nutmeg and a bit of clove on the back of the palate as well. A very tiny touch of yeastiness and smokiness uh, to it as well. This is a long, long opulent uh, white wine. So it's a crisp white wine, but it is opulent. It delivers plenty and plenty of flavor. The finish is super long and smoky, yeasty. Uh, brioche slightly vegetal fennel very fresh and minty to the finish as well so a super food friendly uh, crisp white wine we're talking a white wine for aperitif or aperitivo as the Italians say um, you can pair this with prosciutto you can pair this with seafood I can visualize some shrimp entree with garlic uh, going fantastically with it but i'm sure it would go really well with white meats as well with poultry uh, you can imagine putting this on grilled meats as well extremely extremely versatile because it's dry because it's straight to the point because it's quite powerful and pungent in flavor as well super versatile very interesting easy to enjoy super simply like an aperitif you know just having a quick little sip but at the same time if you do want to analyze the wine and spend time analyzing it impressing your friends with how many descriptors how many fruits and how many spices and flavors you can find just like i do in a wine um, you can do this with this as well you know multifaceted uh, white wine just enjoy it simply or spend time uh, sipping it, sharing it with connoisseurs and wine lovers. It'll go well uh, for any occasion of that sort. So if you don't know quite yet the white wines from Gavi, I suggest that you try, try one. Um, go to your local store and try uh, one of the Gavi wines. I would love to know which ones uh, you liked, uh, if you liked the style and which wines you would recommend. Uh, Marchese Raggio is uh, really, really excellent and I can only say good things about it, uh, but I would love to know which ones I should try, which ones um, you've tried that you liked uh, 
as well. I hope you enjoyed this quick episode of tasting uh, with Julian. I will be back with more wine videos. The champagne is absolutely coming up. I've got some two very delicious champagne cuvées coming up, but I also have uh, some champagne wines from Bruno Payard uh, coming up. So if you're not subscribed to the channel, now it's the time to do so. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which wines you would really, really love me uh, to review and try for you. And I will see you soon in 